Hello everyone, it's me Sarah and welcome again to another video. So today guys, we're going to talk about how to get your lamb sum withdrawal payment here in Japan. I'm gonna do my best to make this video short and informative guys para sa inyo. So what is lamb sum withdrawal payment refund? Or that tai ichijikin in Japanese. Ito yung pension na hinuhulugan ni Buwan Buwan dito sa Japan. So if you are thinking or nakapag-decide ka na na umuwi sa Pilipinas for good or you're going to transfer to other country para mag-work and para mamuhay doon, it's a good news kasi pwede nyo makuha yung lump sum payment withdrawal nyo or yung pension nyo guys na pinaghirapan yung hinuhulugan buwan-buwan. For the sake of this video guys, pagli natin yung lump sum withdrawal payment um, into pension refund para mas madali natin, para mas madali kong ma-explain sa inyo yung process and requirements. What are the qualifications para malaman natin that you are qualified to get your pension refund? So first guys, not possessing Japanese citizenship and this is very self-explanatory. Second, not having an address here in Japan and this is very important guys and we are going to talk about this later kung paano mag-apply ng moving out notice sa Shiakusho or dun sa city hall na malapit sa lugar ninyo. And, and third, having paid monthly pension premiums for 6 months or more but less than 10 years. So there is a question, bakit hindi pwedeng maripan ang pension kahit 10 years mo na siyang nahulugan? It is because once you paid or you have paid your pension contribution for 10 years, you are now eligible to receive or makareceive ng pension but not until you reach your senior age which is 60 or 65 years old. Number four is never been entitled to any Japanese public pension benefits including disability allowance. Lastly, applying for your withdrawal benefits or your pension payment within two years from the day na nag-send kayo or nag-apply kayo ng moving out notice sa Shiakusho or City Hall. So remember guys, after you file for your moving out notice, you just have two years to claim your pension refund. If you have a big check on this guys, Medito, congratulations. You have a green go signal to process and get your lump sum withdrawal payment refund. Then the next process will be how to get your um, pension refund here in Japan. So um, for the process and requirements, um, gagawin natin, I'm going to um, separate this into two guys. So before leaving and then after leaving Japan. Before leaving Japan or bago kayo umuwi ng Pilipinas or lumipat dun sa bansang lilipatan nyo guys, kailangan nyo pumunta sa Shakosho to apply for your moving out notice guys. So when is the right time to file for moving out notice to City Hall? Usually guys, 1 to 2 weeks before your flight, um, dapat pumunta na kayo ng Shakosho to file for your moving out notice. This is the document that they will give to you uh, kapag nag-file ka na ng moving out notice or tenshu tsutudoke. It's called Juminyo Choyo or Address Removal Certificate. So according to my friend na nakuha na ng pension refund dito sa Japan, kung pupunta ka ng City Hall 1 to 2 weeks before your flight, pa we or paaalis ng Japan, usually hindi ka na nila ini-issue ka ng Jumin Joyo. Parang ini-input lang nila yung info sa computer nila. Mis doon mismo sa City Hall. Pero, kung makakuha ka ng copy nito, may as well na isama mo na siya sa mga documents na ipapadala mo sa Japan to claim your pension refund. Ano ba yung dapat sabihin kapag mag-apply ka na ng moving out um, notice sa Shakusho or sa City Hall, guys? So, dun sa mga nahihira, may nahirapan and natatakot mag-Nihongo. So, ito yung pwede niyong sabihin. For example, pumunta na kayo sa City Hall, pwede niyong sabihin, sumimasen, Sarah, this, um, mo shikoto yamimashita keredo eto tas then sabihin nyo yung flight date nyo kung anong date yun for example ju ichigatsu hatsuka ni ikoko suru yote nan desu keredo eto ten shutsu dodoke mo shikomi shita in desu yoroshiku onegai shimas yan yung pwede nyo sabihin and um, after that kapag sinabi nyo naman yun alam na nung um, staff sa um, city hall kung anong gagawin nila Next is, ano yung mga dadali nyo kapag pumunta na kayo ng city hall to file for your moving out notice or your ten shoots to do okay. Of course, first, pera guys, money. And then second is your Zairu Kado or yung working visa card nyo guys, dali yun. And then third is yung copy ng flight um, date nyo guys. Pwede yung sa email, through phone lang, papakita nyo lang sa phone nyo. Or pwede nyo rin naman i-print, yun yung pakita nyo sa um, staff sa City Hall. And of course, dali nyo na lang yung passport nyo for sure kasi baka gamitin din yun or kailangan din nila yun para makita yung um, information mo doon sa passport mo.
in case you need it, bring also your Japanese stamp or hanko. Since nasa shop ko siya na kayo or city hall guys, kunin nyo na rin yung residence um, certificate nyo or juving shoho nyo. Kasi itong document na to guys, um, kailangan nyo to to process your pension tax refund later on after 6 to 8 months guys kapag na-receive nyo na yung um, pension um, refund nyo. And we are going to talk about this on my another video guys about pension tax refund. After leaving Japan, guys, as soon as you arrive in your home country or kung saan ka man basa lilipat, start the process immediately because, guys, bago mo ma-receive yung pension refund mo, could um, take up up to 6 to 8 months or 3 to 6 months, guys, yung process bago mo siya ma-receive. So, time is the essence. Um, Start the process immediately kapag ka naka ka na sa Pilipinas or dun sa bansa na lilipatan mo. So, what are the requirements and or documents na kailangan mo uh, sikasuhin or if prefer? Number one is the application forms and these application forms can be downloaded sa mismo website ng Japan Pension Service. I'll just gonna give you a link in my description box. So, check nyo na lang yun guys. And um, pag nag-fill up na kayo guys, um, it very, it's very important na naka all capital letters yun guys. I'm gonna repeat all caps and then guys, mag-ingat kayo sa pagsulat ng numbers kasi may mga numbers kasi na nalilito yung mga Japanese. So, it's very important na um, alam nyo yung mga numbers niya, especially yung 1, 2, um, 4, and then yung 7 guys. For numbers, yung number 1 hindi dapat ganyan sulat. Dapat straight line lang. Because they confuse it with number 7. For number 2, dapat walang parang um, lobo na katulad niyan dyan. Parang space. Shouldn't written like that. Dapat simple lang na ganyan. Why? Kasi they confuse it with number 3. For number 3, same lang din. Huwag yung party yung sulat nyo. Bawal yan. Kasi hindi lang maintindihan. So, write it like this. Yan, simple lang. For number 4, wag ganito. Dapat may space sa task kasi they see it as number 9. Dapat may space sa task. Yan. For number 7, yan, natatanda ko. Sobrang higpit nila dito. Dapat meron siyang isa pang linya dyan. Dyan, guys. <laughs> Paulit-ulit yan. Sana makatulong to, guys. Kasi walang makita sa internet. So, I use sketchpad for this. So, next requirements is the copy of your passport. Dapat tatlong copies to, guys. Yung first copy nyo, it is yung verifying your name, your age, your date of birth, and then your signature, guys. Actually, ito yung first page ng passport nyo. And then, second copy, guys, ito yung um, status of your of your residence here in Japan. This is Japan visa looks like. So, makita mo na rin dito yung status of your residence. Pero kung nagparinyo na kayo ng visa dito sa Japan, so ang bibigay sa inyo is yung maliit na papel at naka-stapler lang yan sa passport nyo. So, kung nagparinyo na kayo ng passport dito sa Japan, make a copy of this also. Third is guys, will be the pages showing your entry and exit here in Japan. So ulitin ko guys, entry and exit na pages. Copy nun guys ha. Next requirement would be the front and back copies of your resident card, guys. Fourth requirements will be the National Pension Handbook, guys. So, you mismo original na blue book yung i, um, isasend nyo through mail, guys. So, since isasend nyo yung original pension handbook nyo to Japan Pension Service Office, ma it's better to get your own copy, guys, para in case na kailangan ninyo in the future. But actually, after mo ma-receive yung um, pension refund mo, babalik din ulit yung original pension handbook mo sa iyo. Next is your bank certificate. And should be a savings account. Ulitin ko guys, savings account guys. And um, kasi dito ipapadala ng Japan Pension Service Office yung lump sum refund mo or your pension refund. And kailangan mo ng bank certificate. Uh, makuha mo to dun sa mismo banko na pag apply mo for your savings account. Ito na yung best example na nakita kong bank certificate sa internet. So, ang, ang importante na information na kalagay dito is your name, your bank name, bank account, and then yung bank address, guys. According to my friend na nakuha ng lump sum refund here sa Japan, mas maganda daw yung banko na walang acronym kasi minsan daw nakakaproblema dun. Um, for her, ang kinuha niyang banko is yung Metro Bank. So lahat ng documents na to guys, um, kailangan mo to ilagay sa A4 size na envelope and ipadala sa Japan 
pension service here sa Japan guys. So, yung address ha, mo makikita. So, I'll just give you a link no address in my description box below. So, check nyo na lang din dyan guys. Just for your reference, I got here a copy of how to address your envelope to Japan. So, doon sa left upper corner, doon may susulat yung pangalan and address mo. And then, doon naman sa um, right lower corner, doon may susulat yung address ng Japan Pension Service dito you sa Japan. You can send this through LBC or any license of mail carrier from Philippines to Japan. Yung mga airmail from Philippines to Japan, it takes usually for about a week or more than a week to arrive to its specific destination. So the question is gaano katagal ka maghihintay to receive your pension um, refund guys? So actually guys, matagal. It could take up up to um, 3 to 6 months or longer than that. 6 to 8 months guys. Though that's why habang nagkasikaso ka ng mga requirements and documents, mas maganda na i-double check mo siya or triple check or check nyo siya ng madami para maiwasan nyo na yung uh, magkamali kayo to make uh, mistakes and then or para maiwasan nyo rin yung uh, baka kulang yung requirements nyo kasi babalik sa inyo yan and then as you can see, you na, process you na naman siya and then magahantay na naman kayo. So once it process guys, you will receive the notice of your lamb sa video well famous reef. Or that ta uh, ichijikin shikyu kette tsuchi sho. And, and then nyo, mabalik ulit sa inyo yung blue book nyo or your pension book nyo. Kasi guys, dun sa lamb sum nyo, hindi, hindi 100% yung mababalik sa inyo. 80% lang ng pension na contribution yung ma uh, marireceive mo or mariripan mo guys kasi yun, sana punta yung 20% kasi yung 20% will be subjected to taxation and but don't worry guys kasi pwede nyo siyang maripan you you have two options guys so yung first is to hire an agency here in Japan na nagpa-process ng mga pension tax refund and second is to assign um a friend your one of your trusted friends here in Japan na magaling magnihongo so she will she or he will be your um tax representative here in japan so yung pension tax refund is mapaprocess mo lang siya dito sa japan that's why na mention ko kanina dalawa lang option mo is either mag hire ka or um, makiusap ka dun sa kaibigan mo na nandito pa sa Japan. Then, yung nareceive mong notification of lump sum withdrawal payment confirmation or yung blueprint na tinatawag ay isasend mo ulit yun sa Japan um, sa address ng kaibigan mo or dun sa address ng hinar mo na agency. So, this will be our second process para makuha mo ng buo yung pension um, refund mo dito sa Japan. And we are going to talk about this on our next video, guys. I hope this video will help you to process your lump sum withdrawal payment refund here in Japan and if you still have a question about um, processing your pension refund here in Japan so feel free to message me in my comment box section kung sama kayo pupunta guys women kayo ng Pilipinas or lilipat kayo ng mga to work or leave there bon voyage guys and see you again guys bye goodbye paalam sayonara <laughs>